What is up guys, how's it going? Thank you for tuning in to another video. Today we're starting the video a little late because I'm heading out to a uh, little photo shoot, sort of last hangout with a bunch of other Mustangs. I figured I'd bring you guys along, show you some of the cool builds that are out there. Uh, my buddy that has a pro-charged uh, 2018 Mustang is there and it's a six speed. So, you know, I had to rep the uh, save the manual shirt and there is some merch coming real soon. I know a lot of you guys have asked for it for a while now. I uh, finally got around to designing some and we'll be putting it up real soon. So if you are looking for some merch, don't worry, I'm working on it. It's coming your way very soon. But anyways, go ahead and get started with a cold start, 85 start on the Mustang. Sometimes it chokes up a little bit, but here we go. Go ahead, make the drive over. I'll catch the vlog as soon as I see the boys. Here we go. All right, guys, just made it over to the meet. We're at the rooftop, so let's see how this goes. Yep, Eco Beast. <laughs> Got more people rolling out. So I'm just chilling. I'm not sure what's under the car next to me, but I see a big inner cooler, so something might be going down right there. So this is my buddy's 2018. It's got the Pro Charger in it. Kind of peek through and see the inner cooler. I'm not sure what's going on with this one right here, but I like the Crowd Hunter sticker. That's pretty cool. Let me get out of the photographer's way. Setting up for the photo shoot. Different type of build this one, but I really like it. I usually don't like wings on the GTs, but that carbon fiber wing he has on looks really, really nice. Kind of like the GT500. So doing a little bit of a setup here. You got some BBS wheels on it, but it looks clean overall. So colorful. Usually Mopars are like very colorful, but it's a nice little change up since some of these cars are wrapped. It's pretty close, man. <laughs> I thought like I was gonna hit that car. I'm like shit. Uh, you have Project Six GR wheels on there, huh? Six GR? No? Oh, uh, actual wheels? Yeah. Corvette. Corvette concepts? Oh, they look yeah. like the Project Six, like. Yeah, they kind do. Of. Actually, I've got it now once or twice. Because that's those are the wheels that I want. I've been talking to that company about getting a set. Yeah, but these ones are a little cheaper. Damn, even the logo looks similar. Yeah. 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 How much did these run? Uh, I think uh, for the full set, I think it'd be like. No way. Yeah, bro, they're actually pretty cheap. You know how much they weigh, though? Uh, you know how much they weigh? Pretty heavy. Yeah. I see. That's the oh. only down, uh, downside to them. Yeah. Oh, you got some, uh, I like this. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get the wrap done? So when I bought the car, actually, uh, it was already wrapped. Oh, for real? Yeah, okay. so that was the cool part. Uh, so that's why I actually leaned more towards it, because it was already wrapped. It had, like, Barely 20,000 miles when I bought it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah, fuck, it's already wrapped. And, I bought and it then you like just dropped it and added the wheels and, then, and yeah, stuff? Yeah, pretty much I did it. Gotcha. Hopefully I'm fucking end up getting some bags. Gotcha. Yeah, that's great. It's cool, it's pretty clean. Pretty medium. It's pretty clean. I it's got the lubers. 30, yeah. yeah. It's 30 minutes over here. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much six feet. Uh, that's it's a 350 steering wheel. Oh, uh, see, I, I'm trying to find that for my car, but I can't find them. Uh, I found it on. Uh, they have it for the 19? Yeah. For real? Yeah, do you mind if I feel it? Check it out. 
Does it like wear at all? Uh, so I've had it for a year and so far only the top seems like it's... Can you it show just me what like it looks like? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so like up here, you can't really tell, but it almost looks a little like sticky, kind of. Uh huh. And that's uh, the only wear you have, dude. That's it. Other than that, the such a nice solid. steering wheel, dude. I it, like it's that. even, it's even better when you when you're driving. Uh -huh. If you go from the feel, the feel of, it. of it, it's just so much better. That's awesome. The grips actually, too. the actual like thumbs that it has on the side of the steering wheel. They feel nice. Yeah, they feel real nice. Yeah. You can get in if you want and feel it. My, my plan is to end up driving my car. Nice. Um, but I want that steering wheel. But I want the, like the red because I have the, the red stitch. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like I have the red seats. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll look good with all the red that I have going on. But I just can't find it. Like, yeah. Uh, cold and heated seats. Yeah, yeah, and I got the digital dash and all that fun stuff. Oh, you got the digital dash? Yeah. I haven't seen it in person. Check it out, Show man. It later. Yeah, if you want to check it out, go for it. You have to turn it on to. Um, keys in there, <laughs> so oh, you can yeah. ride off. With <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no keys. Right yeah, go go for, for it. For sure. It, yeah. It's in gear though, so if you okay. start it up, just make sure you put it in neutral. Okay. Dude. Yeah, you see what I'm what saying? What the fuck? Isn't it weird? Dude, your clutch is light as fuck. Light as fuck? Dude, go go to mine. What do you have in there? Nothing, it's a stock fucking clutch. And it's heavier than that? Dude, dude. Cause I've been in these before. Nah, You're gonna be like, fuck that, this is heavy as shit. See, yours doesn't have a lot of travel. It's, it's heavy, but there's not a lot of travel. But compared to that, yeah, there's not a lot of travel, but compared to that, that's pretty fucking heavy. Yeah. But there's not a lot of travel. Why yeah, does travel is like a yeah, it does go in much deeper than. that's a price. How's the end gauge? I like it. I mean, it's, it's not the best thing in the world, but. Oh, here. If you just flip, yeah, just take it out of gear and then you start it up if you want. Let's see how it looks. That's the 85 startup right there. Oh <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> Everyone does that shit when they get in my car. Look, those throws are money though. <laughs> it feels like money, bro. That's all yeah. there is to it. Damn, dude, he has a digital cluster. No way. How do you like it, bro? I love it, man. It's, uh, it's Dude, bigger. this is fucking sick, man. Yeah, you can change it up. So change the track modes. Yeah. I uh, just need to get rid of that. There you go. It j it'll start switching up on you, yeah. All right, that's it. I'm getting a 2019. Yeah, that one's my favorite right there. That's usually when I race and stuff like that. That's the motor. Like, oh. Yeah, it just jumps all the way out. It's sick as hell. Yeah. But how's the shifter? Bro, oh, that shit's fucking... <laughs> Ah, yeah, I have an MGW uh, oh, race spec with the uh, weighted shift knob. So anytime somebody gets in the car and they like, yeah. go to shift it, they're like, why is it moving? What the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you feel it if you want to take a look. How's that? How'd you like the N-Gage? Because that's the next thing I'm planning on doing. I'll say the N-Gage is cool. You know, for, what, for what it does. Well, who'd you get it tuned with? Did you just get the gauge and then... Uh, it's, the gauge is from London. London, right? Yeah, everything's from London. Oh, it's just clean. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to try like going out, in and out of gear, go for it. I'm good, bro. I'm yeah. Good. I, don't <laughs> I don't want to mess with your baby. Yeah. I mean, you broke my shift for. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like my third gear shift. I want to be like. Yeah. Yeah, those guys pulling up to me too. That's what's up. Looks like somebody's buying right. a car and they're coming to bring out the extra. <laughs> nah, it's just a beautiful car though. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. This one's yours. Uh, so, so one, that's what's up. Oh, you have the uh, carbon fiber and everything going on, huh? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. I, I've never seen a Mustang modded that way. That's pretty cool. Okay. So you want to tell unique. us a little? You want to tell us a little bit about it? You know, it's, yeah. it's my baby. It's yeah. Have, you know. Because we, we were looking at it a little earlier, and I'm like, I, usually I'm not a fan of like wings, but the way you have it, it looks really sick. Like it's very. Yeah, man. You, you know, know like carbon fiber and everything. Yeah, I just thought it'd give it more of a little race car look. You could say. You know? Yeah. So BBS wheels? Hell yeah. All right, wrapped in Hankook Ventus Evo 2s? Evo 2s. Evo 2s, Evo twos that's what's up. I used to run those on my Mercedes before. I like those tires. It's very good tires for the summertime. Um, yeah, they no have. trouble. Yeah. We got the the flag on there too, that's what's up. Gotta support them. So
So are you uh, lowered on coilovers? Uh, I am on Ibox Sport Lines. Sport Lines, how do you like those? Yeah, uh, they're good for the most part. I haven't yeah. had any issues with them. So I like your fitment, it's very on point. So are, is there spaces on here at all? or? Uh, just spacers in the front. In the front, okay. Yeah. But the back is, the how back wide is, is that? Uh, like 10, 11 inch round? I think it's uh, running nine and a half. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, the film is on point for nine and a half. That's crazy. Very cool. All right, guys, check him out on Instagram. If you want, what's your Instagram, bro? It's uh, right here, JCS550. And then you got, I, I noticed you got Corsa back there. Yep, Corsa Extreme. Extreme? All right, I'm running that too. SSR Performance. Beamer, guys. All right, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> got him. I like the license plate. I actually just got my license plate today. I didn't reveal it to my audience just yet. But I'll tell you off camera, you guys can't figure it out. But <laughs> that's sick, dude. what do you think of it? Hey, there, that's dope. <laughs> just wait on it. Wait just on wait it. on it, right? <laughs> that's awesome. But yo, this this build is clean. I love the color. This color is fire. Look how clean it is. Is this ceramic coated? No, it's just straight. Wow. Straight that's what's up. Do you like polish it, buff it? That's yeah, too clean to be like just yeah, normal. I, I polish it every now and then, you know, I gotta take care of my baby. Yeah, no, it looks awesome, bro. What about interior wise? What do you got? Thank you, man. For the most part, everything just stock. Everything stock Recaros or? No, it's just, you know, the cloth seats. That's what's up. Too, too fancy. Awesome, man. Nice to ride, guys. Check them out. If you're uh, into this type of style, I actually really like it. It's very different, but it works really well together. The fit, man, the carbon fiber wing, the stance is just on point. So, JC S550. And do you have any performance mods done? Are you uh, uh just just the course extreme? Corsa, but stock engine wise. Yeah, everything else is stock engine. Okay. Are you 10 speed? Yeah, 10 speed. 10 speed, okay, okay. This guy will fuck me up. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm gonna move away at this point. Alright, so he just showed us this car. So let's talk a little bit about yours. So oh, all right. Yeah. Are you, go ahead. Yeah. All right. Toss. So uh, that's my buddy's car, I told you guys. Uh he is I'll, I'll let him talk about it himself. Uh, 2018 um, Mustang GT black accent pack. Haven't changed anything on the outside. Uh, kind of kept it sleeper. Except the so this thing, in my opinion, is pretty sleeper. I mean, unless you've noticed the end gauge up here, but apart from that, this uh, is more of a sleeper car. It's got a lot of black accents, but you wouldn't really think that it's packing a punch the way it is. So, and you'll see why in a second here. Yep. It's got a big turbo. It's got a big turp ski on it. Uh, uh, Pro Charger. Uh, Pro Charger P1X. Okay. Uh, it's the, uh, the Cali kit, so it is uh, legal. Carb legal. Carb legal. Alright, doing it right. It's good for about 800 horse. With How the much? 800 horse wow. for the, the, uh, the right bolt on. Red setup, all right. Are you right. running uh, 85 yet? No, Not gonna yet. Um, gonna switch to E85 very soon. Mm -hmm. um, already just got my injectors, fuel pump, um, fuel pump booster. I think just so a currently with a setup like this without E85, it's running 91. And we have terrible um, gas here, but right, what right, can right. somebody expect power-wise out of their car? Anywhere from 570-ish to up to like 600. Wheel. Wheel. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, mine. That's pretty awesome. Mine right now is about like five, 578, I think, at Dino. 578. To the, to the wheels. And this is, remember everyone, this is the Cali Carb Legal Kit, so it's only um, six and a half PSI uh, a pulley. So that's a four inch pulley. Wow. And it's so there's, there's a ton of yeah, room and then, to... Yeah, and then 91's garbage, so, you know, if you get this kit, mm -hmm. try to switch to 85. 85. Or, you know, we don't have 93 here, so... Well, we're just kind of... We're out of luck in that yeah. aspect, but thankfully we have 85, so... Yeah. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a beast. Yeah. I already seen you do a few pulls last time, and it, it <laughs> sounds mean, and it, it definitely moves. Uh, and I got the, yeah, with the kit, I got the um, the, the stage two intercooler. Intercooler, yeah, you can that, see that. I love the, that about these cars yeah, when you, the, the you have it like peeking through. Yeah, with the the carb kit, you can upgrade two things: the intercooler and the uh, the uh, pro charger. So mm -hmm. P1X and stage two core. Core, okay. So plans for the cars to throw it on E85. E85, get all the the right, you know, fuel the fuel system, and then um, we'll we'll re dyno it. I already have, you know, made my my tuner. So that's what's up. Throw and it it's dyno. a manual too. It's a manual. Yeah, yeah. Save the manuals, guys. Save the manuals. Just the 
Alright guys, so we're about to continue with the photo shoot. The lineup is pretty pretty cool. I like the way they have everything set up. So we we'll go ahead and cut it out here. Let them take the photos and we'll catch you guys. But let me know what you think of the Pro Charge Mustang down below. What do you think of the setup? Should I get something like this for the Mustang? Or should I stick to a Whipple? Let me know your uh, opinions down below. Alright guys, so we just wrapped up the photo shoot. Cars are all lined up. And I found out the car next to me, which is this one right here, has a twin turbo setup. So I haven't really seen a twin turbo Mustang in person, um, so this would be the first one. But I'm going to have the owner talk about it in just a second here. Um, he has the On3 uh, Stage 3, I believe, turbo kit on it. Did the install at his house, which to me is awesome. Doing a twin turbo install at home is definitely something to be very proud of. But we'll uh, talk about it in just a second here. Just getting a little rear view shot of everything. Ooh, this is exciting. Unexpected interview. <laughs> Don't want to. I don't have a hood prop yet. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 the turbos. Yeah, that's, that's so sick. How big are those turbos? 60s. Damn. Nice. That's sick. I gotta start turning our flashlight here. You, you might need to get some of those little heat blankets. Yeah. Over the no, turbo. The, yeah. So what did an assault like this take you to do? You said it did at home. Uh, yeah, we did it at home. It took me a couple days. We had to go back to the parts shop. Uh, the install was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> no, no instructions, basically. Damn. <laughs> but, yeah, we got it done. It, uh, first tune was kind of bad, so we had to get some revisions, but after that, it started up. It's pretty, it pulls pretty hard for half throttle. It's about all we can go right now. But, uh, That's insane. It looks so good. Yeah. The mounting location on the turbo is awesome. Yeah, a little flashy. I might get them powder coated. It's a different mm -hmm. color to you know, make them pop. Gotcha. And then remind me again of the power numbers you're, you're looking at or you're thinking? Right now we're at about 700. Um, we're looking to get around 900, a little over 900 with a E85. That's what's up. Yeah, this is gorgeous. So this is the. On three? Yeah, it's an on three twin turbo uh, top mount kit. Uh, it starts up, base price is like 47, but I ended up chipping in like eight. All For it. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, nice build, brother. Looks Thank awesome. You. I need the hood prop. I'm too tired. <laughs> <laughs> Looks real good. Yeah, the only problem is this one doesn't want to spool exactly how it should because they're ball bearing. So, uh -huh. like this one, see the difference on that, how much longer that spins. Gotcha. You, uh, How does it sound when you turn it up? Parting mods and throw more fuel at it. They'll, 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 they'll come alive. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it Do they make a lot of noise, like, or you oh, can't really tell? No, you can tell. All oh, right away. Is it louder than the EcoBoost? I don't know. Actually, the EcoBoosts are pretty loud. It's it's noticeable when I get in the throttle. Right now, it's open, so like, uh, it's. Uh, straight pipes and I don't have mufflers on it so like my exhaust kind of overpowers it oh, once shit. I get everything set up okay straight pipe though you definitely can hear this yeah tell you man take off all the badges just put the little horse in the back I might do that you're gonna, you're gonna hurt some feelings <laughs> 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 First target's a helicopter. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think you got it in the bag of a twin turbo. Like, <laughs> Dude, my nice. guy with the blue Mustang beat a demon. Yeah. He's Next only running, demon. he has 520 horsepower. And he beat a demon? Okay, the demon was probably not trying at I, that point. It looked like he was like, trying in the driver. video. Is this car in uh, lift mode? I don't, <laughs> I don't know, dude, but, but he beat him. I mean, a win's a win, right? The other key. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Was this guy? Maybe it was a ballet mode. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I had to move. I had to pull all the wiring through the firewall and then move it down, then run it from here. All the That's way a lot of work to do at home. Yeah. So your whole ECU sits right here now. Yeah. And like that. Here, I think I can. I'm oh, sorry. This is so interesting to me. To see it as someone do this. Did you do your own calipers? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have them done the back. Yet. Did you? Did you just? Did you take them off or did you mask all around? I took them all. Around. Oh, okay. Uh, let, let me see. How did they come out? That was actually. Those are two years old. Yeah. What did you use? Uh, G2 caliper paint. I used. Uh, 
I forgot what I used. It was some high heat paint. Okay. But uh, yeah, so like all the wiring's shoved under there. Oh wow, we okay. Had to extend battery cables. All the way down. Yeah. So you're not worried if anything happens? You can't reach it from like the tire wall or anything like that? Um, like water you, or anything like that? Well, I'm supposed to, there's supposed Ceiling. to be the, you know, yeah, the, the guard's supposed to be there. Just, mm -hmm. you know, and you, you get anxious once <laughs> it starts getting running. I'm like, I want to drive it. You want to drive it, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So that's where you're gonna call this right there? Yeah. So I'll just put a bracket straight in front. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so like that piping was the hardest part because it kept hitting this radiator. Mm -hmm. So what is this piping right here that's coming down? That goes to the wastegate. That's so the waste the wastegate. You have your one wastegate right here and then you have your other side. What gotcha. Ooh. Those are like 42 millimeter? I have all the specs. Is it like the their own stage three brand uh, wastegates? I'm pretty sure, yeah, all their stuff. And then uh, 44 wastegates with uh, six. It has a six psi spring, but I also left 11 in, so it's a little more. It's wait, 44 it's, wastegates. Yeah. Okay, so I was right. 44. 44. Dude, I can't wait to see this thing run properly. How long do you think till you get it like all ready I, to go? It should be able to go full throttle either tomorrow or the next day, and then if not, it's gonna be this. So he's gonna Sunday. send you the first tune. Uh, he already. Said, this is the first tune. Well, I mean, like I got a revision. It. Yeah, the revision You've should be in tomorrow. It. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm actually excited for you. Just looking at it, that's like big, this, big that's, moves. That's you know? fucking your car's pretty sleeper, dude. Like. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I didn't want to go whole like accessories on the outside, but like. I'm the same way, like I... I Alrighty guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We got to check out some cool cars, a helicopter or a bug, or some type of plane or something. But I got to see some uh, pretty cool builds. Definitely the twin turbo got my mind running. I love the way those turbos are mounted and how the car uh, is pretty sleeper. You can't really tell too much. And then we have that Mustang on BBS wheels, which is also a very unique, kind of different look that I haven't seen on Mustangs very much. And then obviously my buddy's Pro Charge, kind of sleeper uh, 5.0. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think of all the cars that we showed you today. If you did enjoy today's video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. My name is Rush, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Twin turf skis, huh? And just like that, you've made it to the end of yet another Rush Shift video. Thank you for watching and subscribe and showing your love. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so and continue to watch these awesome videos that just popped up on the screen. I will see you in the next one. Rush Shift signing out. Peace.